So I gotta make an updated video on my previous one where I showed you guys how to deceptic oligobines. There have been some issues with those so they don't actually properly deceptic them. These ones do though so uh, it's really simple. I'm also gonna show you guys how to actually create an auto exit because I got some people adding me on discord asking how you do that. First you want to make sure you're at the right file path. I'm also leaving this in the description. In here if you don't already have an auto exit all you have to do is basically uh, go on view this is on Windows 11, go to show, and then make sure file name extensions is on. Then what you can do is just right click, new, create a new text file, name this auto exec. In this case, I'm gonna do uh, auto exec test just so it doesn't overwrite my other one. And then after the dot, just make sure to change .txt to .cfg. It's going to tell you that it might become unusable if you change the file name extension. Um, it won't break though, so just click yes. And then download something like Notepad++ uh, so you can edit everything inside there. Then you have your auto exec. Just open it in, in Notepad++ like I said. And in here, just go to the description and bind the binds in. I got these binds from Trip. Uh, he got them from someone else. I'm gonna put the tags on here, so shout out to them. I personally don't use the mouse one and mouse two bind. Just delete everything outside of here that you don't want. You also have to keep in mind if you keep these binds, it, it's gonna fuck around with your in-game settings. It's, for example, if you spectate someone, you can't like switch persons or like players with left and right click. You can add those binds again, but yeah, just make sure you're like going through here and make sure you only use what you actually want to use. And then there's also two more binds. It's a jump bug bind and a long jump bind. These are not subtext, but they're still really useful. I'm gonna link uh, Tripp's video on how to use them. He explains it way better than me, so you can watch that. And that's pretty much it. You're just gonna save the file, go in game, and then you're just gonna type exec, auto exec, and it's done. Uh, what you can also do is go on Steam, go to your properties, and just type in minus exec, auto exec, and it's gonna execute it when you start the game. And that's pretty much it. These properly fix, these are ticking them. But yeah, I hope this video clears that up and enjoy.